Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your Leo plus Leo love reading for the month of October. We are looking into feelings, actions, outcome, and oracle. This is for my Leos who are connected and curious or interested in a fellow Leo. Um, I do have the intention that the viewer Leo is on this side, but do keep in mind um, for some of you, the reading can resonate backwards, reverse flipped. You can end up on their side. They can end up on your side. Do assign the roles as you wish and take what messages are yours. Leave the rest behind. And Leo, Wish Flash Papers are officially on sale in my Etsy shop down below. You'll see the link. And if you're looking for a different zodiac sign, check the channel. If it's not out already, subscribe and ring that bell to all so you are alerted when the zodiac sign you are looking for's reading is released. So let's look into it. Leo, your feelings for this Leo are the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. This Leo's feelings for you are the Fool, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Leo, in your feelings, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. It looks like you're giving up on trying to make this connection work. It looks like you, Three of Pentacles, you definitely were trying to make this relationship work or trying your best to get on the same page. Be compromising. Be peaceful and understanding. It looks like you're deciding to give up. Or you did decide to give up. Or you're feeling the urge to give up. You feel like no matter what you do, it's very difficult to get on the same page with this person. This other Leo is the Fool, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. So they have a very strong focus onto themselves here and also onto a waiting period. So I feel like this Leo could keep you waiting if that's the case and that's why you're giving up because you're like, well, I'm not going to wait for somebody to put in effort into making things work. You know, it has to be a two-way street, not just a one-way street. And I feel like one of you Leos definitely feels like they were the one who was overgiving in this connection and it wasn't being reciprocated. It looks like it's you over here. This energy is in a waiting period. So they're either waiting to see what you'll do, waiting to see if they will get a right moment. I'm not sure exactly what they're waiting on or maybe they've been just keeping you waiting and that's the giving up energy I feel. Let's see, Seven of Pentacles is other Leo lovers. This person has been, uh, they could have been keeping a delay on making a decision about this connection. And it just looks like you don't feel like waiting around any longer. So let's see what the actions are towards each other. Show me this. Show me Leo's feelings towards, I mean, I'm sorry, Leo's actions towards Leo and this other Leo's actions towards this Leo. <laughs> All right, Leo, your actions are the Death card, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Moon. Their actions towards you are the Two of Cups, the Strength card, and the Ace of Wands. All right, so. It does look like this Leo is going to be taking action towards you where they either haven't been saying anything, haven't been doing anything, or whatever the case may be. I definitely see in your energy, death, the queen of pentacles, the moon, you're definitely saying to yourself in your energy, there was definitely a change or ending or transformation here. And there is a sense of unknown here, Leo, that you're feeling like, okay, so what's going to come from this? Are they going to try? Are they going to let it go? Are they going to come back? Are they going to say something? The answer is yes, they will. But you could be feeling in that uncertain energy right now. Because um, their Ace of Wands did come at the end of the spread, right underneath that waiting period. So it does look like they're going to say something or want to spark some sort of new beginning. What's that going to be about? Oh, y'all going to have a conversation. There is going to be a conversation that arises. This uh, Leo is going to initiate a conversation here. Um, I'm not sure that's what you've been waiting for. Maybe for some of you, if you haven't talked to this person... I feel like others of you, you could have just been waiting for like more affection from this individual, more reliability. What's going to be this talk about chariot? They're going to talk about moving forward and um, trusting in them again. 
Judgment, Page of Cups. This person is going to want a second chance with you. Um, yeah, they're going to say something for sure. Let's see you, Leo, Six of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So you could be uncertain or in that unknown period of are we going to have this healing, this coming back together. And, you know, reconciliation is a broad term, okay? Because I feel like reconciliation, I can reconcile with somebody that I live with. We just haven't talked and we haven't been on good energy. And we're now reconciling on good energy. So when you see reconciliation, it's not always somebody coming back. You can reconcile with a current partner that you do just haven't been on a good level for quite some time. At least the way I, that's the way I view it. <clears throat> So did you two have a full on separation for some of you? Yes. For some of you, no. Others of you, I definitely just feel like there is going to be that coming back together on the level of seeing where it goes, seeing if we can figure it out and be compatible, L like what you've been wanting the whole time, right? It doesn't happen until you exit. But then that shows the um, inconsistency of this individual. So that's why there's a known energy here. So I see you coming up to coming into uh, realizations of if this is something you want to be in. So let's see what the outcome is between you and this Leo. Leo and Leo outcome for October. King of Wands, Page of Cups, P Apology coming in from whoever um, caused the drama. So there is a new beginning here for the two of you, a new cycle going to be birth. You probably don't see it coming here. This person is a bit, um, <sighs> you know, I feel like this person doesn't want to lose you. They don't want to see you with somebody else, but do they have the capacity to give what you're looking for? I don't think so. Um, that's why I feel like you may have to come to the realization if this is just something you want to be in or deal with or experience really. High free will energy, there is going to be a chance for you two to talk and make up. Uh, but I still see resistance on really moving it forward towards more than just whatever level you two were on. It's like it's still not getting to that next part, at least it, for October. But some of you, that's okay, because you need to have this conversation that hasn't been happening. Or some of you need to have this talk and deal with this energy to learn. So let's see what the Oracle has here for you, Leos and Leos. We have falling in love. And we have missed chances. Mm -hmm. So if you pull back on this Leo, they're going to feel like, like um, that energy of FOMO, fear of missing out. Because they know what you bring to the table. Some, and it's so funny because you're falling in love. Um, F, oh, that's not FOMO. I'm like, is it F-O-M-O? -O? No, it's not. Um, it's like somebody's getting FOMO. This person, all right, there's perfect. Miss Chance is falling in love. Somebody's going to get FOMO about you, Leo. Because you're pulling back on them. At least this individual is or vice versa. If you're watching this, you're a Leo. So choose which one you want to be, basically. Um, somebody's getting FOMO on, oh, now they're giving up on me. They're going to give their love to somebody else. Wait a minute. It's like they have that fear of missing out. Mm-hmm. And that's why I get that energy of, um, where this other energy is in that state of resistance, where it's like, they fear they're going to miss out on you, but they don't have what it takes to reciprocate the level of giving on your end here. Oh, we have a flyer. Hold on. It flew on the ground. I have to pick it up. Integrity. So things may have been unfair in this situation. Unbalanced, right? And you also have transparency. Mm hmm. So through this conversation, a lot will be revealed and exposed for sure between you and this Leo. So that's what I have here for Leo plus Leo in terms of zodiac signs that are in the spread that could also be in your choose charts. You have Aries, you have Gemini, you have Leo, you have uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn. So thank you, Leo plus Leo. 
Like I said, if you are looking for a different Zodiac sign, check the channel. It's probably out already. If it's not, it will be out very soon. And uh, memberships have officially opened. So if you are interested in interacting with me more and receiving even more bonus readings and live chats on the daily with me, definitely join it down below. You'll find it, and anybody who joins in the month of October receives a free wish flash on the paper in the Welcome Live November 1st. So, you have from now to November 1st, if you want to lock that in, obviously you'll be able to join whenever you want, um, but I am giving my day one members who are joining in this month a free wish flash. So... Um, you'll also find that on sale in the Etsy shop if you're interested. So thank you, Leo. I love each and every one of you out there and I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.